So continuing off from the last tutorial, I'm just going to quickly show how to use uh, RPG Maker animation effects in RPG Maker XP. So in order to create a cool effect, um, we already showed how to teleport, but uh, you can add your own animations if you wish. Uh, what, what I've done here is I've, I've, I've set up a, a, a new box here and you can just create one by right clicking and click new event. But if I double click on this and name it animation, what I can do is I can create a graphic just so it calls or you can see an animation. Uh, let's just add another character. And a way to get the animation to activate is simply leave the how it's set. So when I press space, the space bar interact with the animation. A uh, animation is going to pop up, and that's in the event commands. And I'm sure you already saw it to show animation. Now the animation you can choose between having it interact on the player or this event. We want it to be this event, so drop down. And the type of animation, and these are chosen from uh, the RPG Maker set, is uh, uh, an, a, a, like a, 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 a GIF image that um, you can choose from that are is already built into the program, but you can also add your own. So let's just say Let's do its HP recovery one and click OK. Now we can preview animations by uh, going into the database or materials. Actually, I believe it's materials. And um, where you add animations is, is here through graphics and animations. And you can import uh, them from the uh, the desktop and uh, yeah like I say the graphic file uh, oh it's not a GIF it's a ping JPEG or BMP and then click open and then it will uh, uh, enter into to this database uh, so like I said um, you can find the uh, oh it's the healing one oh we can just preview another one so that, that's what they're gonna look like. Um, oh, this. Oh, these are just images. Uh, okay, but this is where you'd you'd add the um, the 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 GIF. I believe maybe then if we go into the database, then we can. Oh, perfect. As so we can find the anim the animation and uh, add it here and preview it here. So here's HP recovery. And if we play it, um, it'll that's where you'll see the, the, the preview of it. Uh, the animation, of course, can be tweaked around in this area. Like uh, you can see it start there or um, move this and see what that, that does. Uh, but anyways, you can preview others by going to database animations and um, playing each animation. Once you've imported it, go to animations uh, and then call your animation that you, uh, you used um, from here. Or the, re the rest have been imported. Uh, Yes, perfect. All right, so now that we've got a character, and when that character uh, is interacted with with the space bar, um, it's going to activate that uh, specific animation. So let's uh, hit play and um, watch the character animate. So I'm going to walk over to the character, hit spacebar, and there we go. That event will um, continue 
making that animation on that character. Now, if you wanted the animation to go somewhere else around the map, uh, you could just change it to player or um, transfer. Uh, that what that'll do is um, when you interact with this, uh, this will uh, a animate itself. Uh, yes, I do. I believe. I believe in RPG Maker 2003. You could animate it around the entire map, and I'm sure there is on XP. But this is just to animate a specific uh, event. Or so now it's moved over here. And that was from our last video, where it transfers into a mountain. Alright, I'm going to finish the uh, tutorial here. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. And um, like and subscribe, I guess. And uh, I'll try and make more RPG Maker XP videos uh, as, as I go. Um, Alright, see you later.